everyone, I hope the lighting is okay. Today I'm filming a get ready with me chit chat talking style video. A lot has up happened in my life and I feel like I haven't kept you on the main channel that are not really on my social media updated about it. So I thought what better way than get ready for my flight, do the makeup so that we can see the makeup also and just hear what all is going on. I just wash my face. I'm gonna apply my lip balm first of all. This is the Blue Heaven Cosmetics Egg Shaped Lip Balm. This is only for 85 rupees guys and it's just good enough as the ear is so that's good. Anyway, this is a makeup bag in which I have most of my makeup. Uh, at home, I don't have that much. I barely have my palettes and stuff. So this has most of the makeup that I use every day. So let's begin. I start off with the Color Bar uh, Face Primer. It's a silicon based primer and it just blurs out anything. I don't need a lot of blurring out to do. I just have these lines under my eyes. You can't see right now. Look at the dark circles. My schedule has just been not crazy, but it has been very late night oriented. So I get to sleep at like three or four, which is so not my style. And my skin, just look at how patchy and tired it looks, right? I need to do a face mask or something. My off is coming on 7th and I'm actually going to film all videos for the month of March. My theme, by the way, for the month of March, I'm just too excited to share it, is back to school. That is correct. All the videos because, okay. Uh, in March, we have board exams in India, so I thought it's good to do. I know people that are in school won't be able to watch it, but if you do, it will be helpful for you. So, yeah, I hope you guys are excited for that. I've got so many story times and stuff. So if you've got any um, video ideas, put that in the comment section below or uh, what do you think about the theme? I'm very excited about it to look back on our school days. All right, now time to color correct. I'm still using my Wet n Wild cover all thing. I am using new products though, so don't worry. Um, seeing the state of my skin, I need some light under these eyes. So by the way, what has been going in my life? Look at my background. It's all marble. How come? Because I have a renovation going on in my house at the moment. Make sure you follow me on my social media guys, or at least my vlog channel because I update everything there. My social media and my vlog channel are practically the same. My vlog channel is like all of it at the same time. It's just not live. So yeah. I'm planning on doing some YouTube lives but I'll do that on my Indian life itself. So make sure you follow me there if you wanna catch the lives. Yes, that's done. Now I'll just do some, so can you see there's discoloration here. I like to use this one, which is not that light. This will just blend in with the rest of my skin. Make this area look lighter. So yeah, the renovation work is going great. When the work was uh, in full force, we all had had enough of it and we were actually annoyed because we barely had one room to ourselves. We couldn't even stand there at one point because the work was going on in that room as well. So it was crazy, but now that it's done, I'm happy, but Furniture is taking time to arrive, so that gets annoying. We've bought a lot of stuff from Home Center because they have this 50% sale, which is so awesome. So if you want to buy some furniture, go check it out. You might just find the things that you're looking for. I don't know, I'm having some things over here, which is so weird. This is done now my foundation, guys. Oh my gosh, I've been using the Sephora Wonderful Cushion Foundation and I love it. This was for 2,545 uh, rupees, cheaper than the Lancome one, which is for 4,000, so that's my thing. You press this button. Oh, oh, it says Sephora here, okay. This lid is too tight though. But I guess that is what keeps the foundation from, you know, evaporating. So you just press it here. And you can totally build up the intensity. Can you see that liquid product? So I'm just gonna put it here. Oh, cool. It smells really chemically, but it works so well. Look at that. It's all gone, but it does not look like it's it does not look too extra though. Can you focus on my face? See, it's not too extra, right? And you can totally build up the coverage. It will never look heavy is what I feel. And by the way, you know how we're used to putting our foundation with a sponge like this? You don't do it like this. If you do it, you won't get the coverage. You need to do it like this. You getting the motion? I hope you are. Okay, now check out under my eyes how it will cover up the light color, okay? It does that so well, right? I love that. 
I love it. Like this foundation is all you need. You don't need to worry. Oh, how much coverage does it have? This, that. It's just one product, and if it gives me this kind of a flawless finish, guys, I am happy to spend that much amount on it. Because at least it's giving me what I want. Oh, this reminds me. I have to put the color corrector on one more place. A little bit of discoloration, so I'm gonna put the skin colored one over here, just like this. I do a lot of steps in my makeup, but the end product is always natural because I don't like makeup that looks plastic, you know. Uh, forehead is a place where I don't really need to do a lot. So I'm very happy about that. Blessed about my forehead. There we go. I got a lot of discoloration going on, so I need to work extra hard on this face right now. Ah, I just had to get this product out of my jewelry armoire, which, by the way, have you looked at it in my vlogs? Oh my god, it's a piece of art. I feel like Kylie Jenner or a princess while using it, guys. You need to check it out. It's, it's right there. I can just cry looking at it. It's so fancy. You have to check out my vlog. So I'm gonna take this sponge, which I got from Forever 21. It hasn't been washed in a long time. I'm not very proud of this. I'll wash it today at the layover. Um, so I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer which I got because uh, Glam Life Guru or Tati said it's really good for highlighting. It actually is but I don't know. I really want to try the L'Oreal Concealer which you guys actually recommended to me. So after this I'll buy that one because I want my concealers to have a little bit of coverage as well. This is good for highlighting and brightening but not for covering up. So I really want a concealer with coverage and you guys like that one so i want to see got the kim kardashian highlighter i don't do it over here and here because i don't know i bought a lot of furniture for my thing my renovation and all that my theme is going to be all white and fancy and a lot of greenery in my room it's gonna be so good i'm so excited okay now this thing is never covered i feel that's why i need a concealer with high coverage but i, I don't want to use cream products because they settle in so i don't know i'm using the rimmel match perfecter so the area on which i rubbed the concealer it's wet right so i'm gonna pick up the powder and just nicely place it over here and i'm baking and guys baking really makes a difference the under eyes are much more smoother on the days i baked it so I love this and a translucent powder is always useful you know usually for face powder I would use the Miss Claire face powder with this huge pink brush that I have but the brushes are dirty I don't even want to touch them I've not washed them because everything is going on so I'll wash them after the work is complete so for now I'm just finishing up the L'Oreal Matte Magique powder foundation I don't know my shade I'm sorry I put the face shop cushion uh, foundation puff here because the puff that came with it sucked and I can't take a chance with the brushes that I have because they are disgusting. So I just slightly put it, it just corrects any of the color corrector colors that might be uneven. This is a bit white I feel, isn't it like over here? But I think after the lipstick will be okay. Over the eyes, don't forget over the eyes because then your powder foundation or whatever tends to line up in the creases. I've been using the Body Shop Brow and Lash Gel. This used to be a clear um, liquid. Now it's this colored because I get foundation on it, I think. So I just brush my bhaves. That's what you call in Hindi. My eyebrows in place. So they just stay in place because you know my eyebrows are on the fuller side. So they can go here and there. Are we in focus though? Okay, so until that is happening, I'm gonna use my Hula bronzer, bronzer, my Hula Benefit bronzer. I use it with the brush that it came with. I've used a lot of it actually, but I strongly believe they have reduced the quantity of the product. Now look at the difference, okay? Can you see? Ah, uh, this just keeps going out of focus. Can you see the product deposit there? See what a difference it makes? Yeah. I place it right under the cheekbones. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly or not, but to my new lens for this camera, guys, have you noticed that it keeps going in and out of focus and that sucks? I'll either buy a new camera or a new lens, but the lenses can only be found outside India because this camera was bought in Malaysia, which was a big mistake. So whenever you're buying these things, buy them in your home country because you never know when they stop making it or anything. I put it a little here. I put it here a little bit so that my face looks... A bit slimmer not gonna help and so my nose is fine but I just don't like I, I I'm not saying I don't like but this area could be sculpted a bit so that is where I apply the bronzer 
एक आई डोंट हैव द ब्रश दर आई यूजली डस्ट इट ऑफ विथ सो आई जस्ट आई बिन यूजिंग दिस ओनली सो आई जस्ट लाइटली डस्ट इट ऑफ लाइक दिस I don't know if this is the correct way which it's not I'm sure it's not the correct way but what does a girl in a renovating house got to do right I am not keeping my brushes very safe There we go Can you see this area is still a bit bright It is because of that All right and don't worry if it's too white I'm going to put more colors on this face with the blush and everything so it's going to be okay All right I think I should do my eyeliner now so that until I'm doing the other things it will be dry Oh sorry I just moved you guys I think it's equal enough yeah All right I'm not going to make my hair in this video by the way because I've already done that in another video so you can see it there I'm using the L'Oreal Lip Blush True Match in the shade pink grapefruit the products that i'm using like lipstick and the blush is the one that's recommended to us so we can't use any other thing so by the way all of you are asking oh is the makeup already given and all that yes it's all given and no guys you know sometimes you guys ask me questions which are personal to me but personal to the company as well i can't just share company secrets like that and i know you will be like oh but you will you might share them with your friends or your family the company is not coming to ask that yeah but youtube is an official platform guys they've got proof of emails if i reply to you in the comments or on email so i can't give you the details like that okay so don't bother asking and then if i say if it's a personal question blah 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 don't get annoyed please because i my hands are tied then i made this uh, blush myself so i just touch my brush a little bit in it because this one is just not that pigmented and i like my blushes to have a bit more color so i just add a little bit of it so that means i'm actually using the company recommended product but adding a little bit extra but i don't go excessive some people will go excessive when they don't use company products yeah some people don't use the company recommended products then they get in trouble so don't get into bad habits now i'm using my savanna colors highlighter i actually broke it so i have it together with a rubber band it looks really ratchet but yeah this makeup brush which needs a cleaning as well dust off the excess and then Guys, no matter how much sheen your blush has, applying a highlighter right there just gives a different kind of life to you. You know how some YouTubers, some beauty YouTubers, they'll just put on the highlighter like this, and then they'll be like, I'm trying to show it to you. I don't like that much highlight. That's like not possible in everyday life. Anyways, now we're left with mascara. Benefit there in mascara and the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline on top of each other. they give the best false lash effect according to me the maybelline mascara that i have is uh, waterproof actually so it's a pain taking it off so i'm actually going to go ahead and buy the regular one as well and keep the waterproof mascara for long days or maybe in the rains or in the winters when i know my eyes are going to be pouring a lot the benefit mascara is really good guys but it's really expensive so i'm okay with not buying it i live without it it's okay The length that this gives is amazing. Oh my god, Apurva uses this mascara she says. My lashes don't have the same effect as hers, but her eyelashes look dope, guys. If you meet her in real life, oh my gosh, looks like she's wearing fake eyelashes. But everything is fabulous about her, so. We don't know about that, right? I mean, her hair and everything. We're straight by the way, both of us. In case you're wondering. So, I wiggle this mascara The benefit one I just go straight up in the lashes and this I wiggle. And this gives me volume for days. Oh my god. My eyelashes can kill. Look at that. They look like fake eyelashes, guys. Come on. We'll a lot of a lot of lipsticks. The one that I've chosen is Maybelline Lip Gradation in the color pink 2. So it has this thing on one which is such a soft tip it's really nice and then you have a smudger on this end um this is for 400 or something i think but it runs out so fast so not good value for money anyway remember we apply lip uh, balm right so i'm going to cover it up so that lip product does not slip and slide so oh i do a cross excess product there we go this is my 
makeup look that I do every day for flights. Of course, I have my uniform and my bun, which I'm gonna do right now. If you wanna see how I make my donut bun, I'll link the video, I've already filmed it. For interviews, you could totally use a subtle lipstick for interviews. Let me know if you're excited for this month's theme and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.